What's going on, guys? So, I haven't made a YouTube video in a really long time. Mainly because I never... I, bleh. So, the reason I stopped is because I didn't have enough storage on my phone. Because I'm I have, using my iPhone. But, we're out here. We're testing out the Guggen Happy trailer. Uh, I have in a black and blue color. And we're going to see if we can catch some fish today. So, we're out here today. It's a beautiful little pond. We got the... We can happy trailer on a little, I don't know, what do you call this, Jake? It's like a, not a bobblehead. It's like a little wobblehead or something like that. All right, so first cast this is pretty good action in the water. I don't know if you guys can see that because like the glare, but I mean, it hops pretty well. So I'm looking over the edges for some fish because I've been here a few times. I've actually sight fished some fish from this dock here. Or not dock, I don't know. I don't know why I keep calling it a dock, it's a bridge. But still. I'll sit down here a little bit. Don't want to lose my phone, but we're gonna get really dangerous here. And, ooh, there's a bass on it. There's a bass looking at it. There's a nice bass right there. There's a nice bass right there. Holy cow, why do I keep whispering? I don't know. Oh, she turned on it. I've caught some one pounders and I've caught some three pounders in here. So I really don't know what's in store for me today. There's also bowfin in here, quite a bit of them too. So you might see some bowfin, you never really know. But so I used to, I used to catch on big swim baits in here. Is the Shimano SLX 150 size. Um it's an 8 to 1 gear ratio, and on that, um, on that I'm running for, uh, 40 pound Power Pro in that green color, and then I have a Lose Mach 2 rod. 7 foot medium heavy fast. This is our best bet to catch a fish, is in this spot here. There's weeds all around right out there. Oh, oh that's a rock. That's a rock. I'm stuck on a rock. How do you get stuck on a rock? How? I'm never. There's a. Oh my god, there's a big fish down there. Is that a wake? Gosh, you should be kidding me. Okay, you gotta go up for this. Dude, it's a freaking hog fish. Not the snag, but there's a freaking hog. I gotta get back up here. There's pine trees you gotta walk under. Gotta, like drag your rod up at all and stuff. Okay. Snag on. I've never. Ask anyone I know. I've never. Oh, this is the sharp stuff. There we go. I might have to retie. I gotta retie. Yeah, I'm gonna retie. So if any of y'all are curious, I tie a improved fisherman's knot or the improved clinch knot. They're the exact same thing, just different names. There you go, tight. Cause this, oh, this knot rarely slips. I've had it slip maybe twice in my entire life. So rarely slips, it's good. It rarely slips rarely bumps i keep not nudging my rod and it's driving me absolutely insane it's tough i've been fishing for half an hour ish um ish half an hour haven't caught squat saw bass in the beginning haven't seen anything but carp Oh, both in on. Got a both in. Got him. Both smoked it. I gotta walk him back. Both smoked it. Holy crap. The happy trailer. The happy trailer. Both smoked. I seen him. He came up shallow. That's a big both in. That's a PB both in. PB both in. Lady. Happy trailer. That's PB. That's PB. That's a PB. That's a PB both in. Happy trailer. Holy, holy crap, hold on a second. 
PB both and happy trailer. Oh God, that was freaking me out. Look at that. Next to the rod. I don't know um, exact length. Oh, you chill your grill. Look at that. Beautiful fish. And that Guggen Happy trailer right there. It's exciting. It's nice bowfin. I don't know how to how to hold these guys. Look at that. Look at look at that mouth on that fish. Mouth on that fish. Look at that. Yeah, nose hooked it. Gotta get this fish back. Get this fish back. There you go. Oh wait, crap. Oh. Warm water. Oh God, Jesus, Christmas. <laughs> All right, well, there's a bowfin for you. Keep it going. All right, so we just caught that fish on the happy trailer. Hold on a second, we're gonna come under the bridge. Just caught that fish in the happy trailer. Um, yeah, so re rigged it. That fish got me a little wet. That's all right. That bowfin was the biggest one I've ever caught before. I had, um, I have a scale with me, I had a measuring tape, and it was 24 inches. Pretty big bowfin. So, that was a big boy. We're gonna see again. We just walk along here. He was right down there. Oh, Hold on, there's a bass. Hold on, there's a bass. There's a bass. There's a bass. Oh, he's gonna eat it. Just got it. Got him. Oh, that's a two-pounder. That's a two-pound bass right there, boys. That's a two-pound bass right there on the happy trailer. It's two pound. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. That's an easy two. We don't got a scale with us. That's all right, we're calling her too. Oh, no, stop. I didn't know you were on the ground. Stop it. Oh, wow, that might be one and a half. It's long, skinny fish, though. Long, skinny fish. Right there. Right there. Long, skinny fish. Can't even barely get it in frame. Right there. Long, skinny fish. Happy trailer. She has rips in her mouths, boys. She has cuts all over the place. That's right. Well, that's just, that would be a two. That might even be a three if she was full. But got really sharp teeth. Eating minnows. This fish is not full. Oh, wow. She's hooked. There we go. On the happy trailer. Two pounder. There we go. We're gonna get her a shot. So under this bridge, it's kind of sunny out. So here's that fish again, one more time. It's a solid one. All right, let's get the release on her. Oh, there she goes. I don't know if you guys saw that. She goes, starting to rip a little. Right there, right in the nose. Um. I'm gonna flip it over because it's almost ripped completely. That's one more thing I like is you can rig it like this. You can rig it like that or sideways. So I like rigging it sideways though. And then I like go all the way through, sliding it up. It's like a Texas rig on this little weird bobblehead thing. Tell me what this is. This head can like go freely. You guys are going all over the place there. His head can like wobble freely. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I picked them up at this one. It's called Dick Smith Bait and Tackle. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, by the way. So don't try to copyright me or whatever. There she is. There. So overall, didn't do bad in this little spot. Didn't do horrible. Um, Could have caught a few more fish. I was only here for 20 minutes, half hours. I'm I'm like 10, 15 minutes away from this place. So I'm not super far away. So, But I can bike here. I got my bike with me. So overall, the Guggen Happy Trailer on a little bobblehead did not do bad. Caught me my PB Bullfin, 20, 
23, I think. 23? I don't remember. 23 inches. Um, smoked it, sight fished both those fish, and then like a two pound bass. Could have been a three and a half, four. I don't think it would have been a four. Could have been a three if it was full, but skinny fish. So that's fine. But overall, hope you liked it. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And, you know, see you in the next one.